Hi, we're group 2 and this is a guide to burnout. Burnout is said to be a rising problem in today's day and age. Although quite common, burnout isn't often recognized for what it is. With that in mind, we've put together a comprehensive guide to burnout that will help us identify the signs of burnout, the symptoms, as well as ways to prevent it. What is burnout? Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. It happens when you feel overwhelmed, drained, or unable to keep up with constant work. Continued exposure to stressful situations, like caring for an ill family member, working long hours, or witnessing upsetting news, can lead to the stress condition. So one of the main causes of burnout is excessive drive and ambition. It is common for people to be enthusiastic when starting a new job or task, and they end up biting off more than they can chew. This can often be seen in perfectionists. Perfectionists tend to set high goals and work hard for themselves. However, a high achiever can only be satisfied with doing a great job and achieving excellence in everything they do. Perfectionists will accept nothing less than perfection. This results in them pushing themselves to work harder, which leads them to neglect their own needs. A quick road to burnout is sacrificing basic needs such as sleep, exercise, and eating. Burnout is a gradual process. It doesn't happen overnight, but can creep up over time. The signs and symptoms are subtle at first, but become worse as time goes on. Burnout can cause long-term stress, which can lower the immune system that leaves you become more vulnerable to illnesses such as colds and flu. Burnouts also cause us to feel physically and emotionally depleted. Work inefficiency is also a result of a bad burnout due to the mental collapse and an inability to cope. Burnout could also lead to many mental health concerns. Depression and depersonalization is one of the most common symptoms. Burnout could leave you believing life is meaningless and you end up feeling detached from it. Escape fantasies are also a common effect from overworking. Dissatisfied with the never-ending demands of their jobs, people with burnout may fantasize about running away from all responsibilities. In extreme cases, drug, alcohol or food may also be a way to numb the emotional pain. Because of the daily effects on one's mental health and physical health, it is important that we deal with burnout right away. When burnout occurs, problems may seem overbearing and everything may look bleak. It is difficult for us to master up the energy to care, let alone take action. But there are several positive steps you can take to deal with overwhelming stress and get your life back into balance. One of the most effective ways is to reach out to others. Social contact is the most effective way and is the best antidote to stress. It helps to calm your nervous system and relieve stress. Next, we have to reach out to the ones closest to you, such as your friends, your family members, or your partner. Kind words and an open ear are a good remedy for burnout. The person you talk to does not need to fix your problem. They just need to be a good listener and listen attentively without being distracted or expressing their judgement, like a therapist or a counsellor. You could also try to find new friends. If you don't feel like you have anyone to turn to, it's never too late to build new friendships and expand your social networking. Another effective way to combat burnout is to find something you do love instead. Try to find some value in your work. Even in some mundane classes, you can often focus on why it's important to do any of this. Focus on aspects that you do enjoy, even if it's just chatting with your peers in recess. Changing your attitude towards everyday stuff can help you regain a sense of purpose and control. Lastly, if you hate your job, look for meaning and satisfaction somewhere else in your life. In your family, friends, or hobbies. Find a balance between work and play in your life and focus on the parts of your life that bring you joy. If you're able to do that, take some time off of work. If burnout seems inevitable, try to take a complete break from work. Go on vacation, use up your sick days, ask for a temporary leave of absence, anything to remove yourself from the situation. Use the time away to recharge your batteries and pursue other methods of recovery. 
Exercise is a good way to get an emotional boost. Mini exercises and short walks are a convenient way to make exercise a daily habit for the ones who are always busy. Eating a balanced diet is also still an effective method. Eating a healthy diet filled with omega-3 fatty acids can be a natural antidepressant. Adding foods rich in omega-3s like flaxseed oil, walnuts and fish may help give your mood a boost. Good sleep habits are also a great habit to have. You need time to rest, which is why healthy sleep habits are essential for your well-being. Avoiding caffeine before bedtime and establishing a relaxing bedtime ritual can help promote better sleep. Most important of all, ask for help. During stressful times, it is important to reach out for help. If asking for assistance feels difficult, develop a support system with close friends and family members so that you can take care of each other during trying times. Being exposed to continuous stress can cause us burnout. Feelings of exhaustion, anxiety, and isolation from family members and friends can be one of the signs and symptoms of burnout. Negative impacts of burnout has been spilled all over in our life, especially health. However, steps can be taken to prevent crashing and being stressed out. Small self-care gestures like this can stop stress from turning into something serious like burnout. Burnout can be avoided by making self-care gestures into your daily life. Especially when working for long hours or studying for exams, remember to sprinkle some joy into your daily life and reach out to those who are in need. That's all from us. Thank you.